What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to another all-new Hybrid Network video. And what we're going to talk about today might shock you. The news broke last night from Variety and Deadline, and honestly, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it, so here goes. According to Variety, the estate of J.R.R. Tolkien and Amazon Studios are reportedly in talks to adapt the legendary Lord of the Rings trilogy into a series. Let that sink in. A Lord of the Rings TV show is in the works. To clarify, they're in early talks, and this isn't a Lord of the Rings universe series or a spin-off of the films or a series adapting the Silmarillion. No, this is essentially a TV series reboot of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Now, Amazon is actually not the only studio the estate's been in talks with. Reportedly, they've also reached out to Netflix, and previously they were in talks with HBO, but that network backed out because of some pretty ludicrous financing requirements. What are those requirements exactly? I'm glad you asked. The studio taking on the project would have to pay the Tolkien estate up front upwards of $200 million just for the rights to adapt the legendary fantasy franchise. Again, that's not the budget for a season of the series or how much they're projecting the series is going to cost. That's $200 million just for the right to make the series. Deadline actually did go on to estimate that the budget for a single season of this show would be somewhere in the range of 100 to 150 million dollars, which might sound high, but remember, this is a move being made with Game of Thrones in mind, and the final season of that show, even though it's just six episodes, is going to cost more than 90 million dollars when it's all said and done. So to clarify, to produce just one season of this prospective Lord of the Rings TV series, a studio would be spending between 350 million and 400 million dollars. And I don't know how to feel about this, honestly. To me, it just it's kind of hitting me as, as weird. I get that the Tolkien estate and Warner Brothers want more from the property, and that it's been 13 years since the film trilogy came out, but that film trilogy is still one of the most financially successful trilogies of all time, and it's considered by many to be one of the best film trilogies ever, period. And even if it wasn't 100% faithful adaptation, as any book reader would tell you, Tom Bombadil has legions of fans, odds are a TV series is going to struggle with a one-to-one -one adaptation too, especially because, according to Deadline's report, the TV series rights don't include all of the characters, whatever that means. Even though I mentioned other potential studios, right now it looks like Amazon is not only the clear frontrunner, they're probably closer to sure bet territory to land the series if they decide it's worth the investment. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos is known for being a huge fan of sci-fi and fantasy, and reportedly he's been trying to get the studio to produce more shows in those genres, with an eye towards a big fantasy show to compete with Game of Thrones. This would definitely be that. Plus, given the size of the company, they can probably take that $250 million hit a little bit easier than someone like Netflix, who are already in debt to the tune of $20 billion. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this idea. Are you for a new Lord of the Rings adaptation, this time on the small screen? And what do you want to see the most included in this new version of the series? That's going to do it for me here, though. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day. And consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. For more content, check out our website at hybridnetworkyt.com. And if you love HN and want to take your support to the next level, consider donating to us on Patreon as we strive to bring you the best content possible. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.